Hopefully the connection will hold up. Last time kept signing me out. It seems to have weird phases, PlayStation. It's it's really weird. The server seems to just disappear every now and again. And it is super, super annoying. Um, where's this chat? I need to try and get the chat up. Come on. How am I supposed to get this up? I'll just start playing and I'll go from there. Three people watching right now. Hello, everybody. Once again, welcome back to another live stream. Uh, Ruida says hello. Hello, Ruida. Uh, right, so let's play as the official All Blacks. Now, obviously, it's taken me a long time to make this All Black side. Uh, and obviously, it hasn't got every single All Blacks player in it because obviously, I can only have the ones that are playing in Europe. And I have struggled to get some of them, and it's obviously taken me ages to make them. But like I said, I've done my best, and I'm still it's still a work in progress. This All Blacks team has 316 caps, uh, and we're going to play the Australian team. And the Australian team has 317 caps, so literally one cap a piece difference. So I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, so as you can see in this All Black side, we have Charlie uh, Falmainer, Fal Falma Fal Falmainer. I think I found my Ina, yeah, I think that's how it said. Uh, Haim Fiverr, uh, Jeff Tamuga Allen, Stephen Luatua, uh, Michael Fatiol Fatiolfa, I think that's how it said, Alex Tallou, Liam Massam, Luke Whitelock, Albie Mathewson, Ben Bottica at Fly Half. On the wing, then we have Bruce, uh, Bruce Heem from Toulon, uh, Julian Sarvea, Willis Halaholo, Halaholo uh, who plays, I know he has, was selected for the Wales team. Uh, but obviously we're ignoring that because he's on this game he's, as a New Zealander. He hasn't played for Wales yet. So let's pretend in a reality world he's picked for New Zealand. Uh, and we have Ben Smith, Toby, Arn Toby Arnold, Jake Heenan, Ben Franks, Alex Luatua, uh, Wasaki Naholo, uh, John Okito. And then we've got Ben Smith again. And then we've got Jimmy Gopuff, Coppuff on the as number 22. And Gavin Stark as number 23. So, overall, not a bad team. Not a bad team at all. Um, let's go to the live chat. Right. Okay, let's play the game. Um, should we have it? We'll have it as daytime. Let's pick like a New Zealand sort of setting. Um, I feel like that's a very New Zealand looking ground, I'd say. So, yeah, let's get into it, guys. Hopefully you guys are having a nice day as well. Thank you once again for tuning in to another live stream. I really appreciate the support. Which player has played the most matches in the Six Nations Championships? I'm going to say Parise. Yes, I was right. Feel free to leave a comment if you are just tuning in. Uh, Ruida says, what did you think about the French man's punch on Jamie Ritchie? Uh, I think, I don't know, I don't understand what he was doing to be honest with you. I mean, I think it was literally a blattened red card. Uh, it was definitely deserved. Uh, I don't know. You can't really do that on a field. I don't know why you thought you would get away with that. But it is what it is. It was a deserved red card. And that's why I think Scotland were the much better team anyway. France just didn't turn up. Right, here we go. Ben Bottico to kick off. I think I might try and start playing on uh, pro difficulty as well. I'll just try and like train myself up. I know I'm not that amazing at this game, so I think I'm going to try and get into it. Seven people tuned in. Hello, everybody. Feel free to leave a comment if you are just tuning in. It's taken me ages to make this uh, New Zealand team, so uh, please make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. And if you're feeling generous, leave a donation. Uh, fully Welsh says yo 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 hello fully Welsh or Fred shall I say I'll call you Fred to to 
Here we go. Bruce Heem on the wing. Try. Aruda uh, says, do you think Scotland could beat Wales? I think they could. I mean, Wales haven't played well. So, I mean, it's a high possibility they could do it. I don't think that game should be really... I shouldn't. don't think it should really be played, considering of the uh, all the games cancelled because of the corona outbreak. I would say, why don't they just postpone that as well and just have a final Six Nations weekend in the coming weeks rather than just cancelling the two and letting that game play? I'd say just cancel all of them. Bruce Heem! He's away. He steps it. Ah, oh, doesn't get there. Fully Watch says, long time no stream. Yes, we haven't streamed in a while. I don't know how long the stream's going to hold up because PlayStation has a thing for signing me out lately. I don't know why. But everybody was saying they were struggling with the servers last time round. And I kept signing them out, so it wasn't just me. And it isn't the internet, it's literally the servers. So if it, if it disappears, it's because PlayStation signed me out once again. Right, Toby Arnold. Ah, oh, found my Nina. Out wide to Bruce Heem. You're not going to catch him, Bruce Heem. To be fair, I know the rating of this uh, New Zealand side isn't amazing because obviously it takes time to build up the whole stats and everything of them. Um, but I generally feel like they're a really good team to run around with, especially with the players they have. And I've literally maxed out everything on them. I've got, I had like uh, 600,000 credits for uh, my solo mode. And I managed to max it out with the speed and everything. So they're literally five stars on every single thing. So, pretty awesome. Just got a notification saying my uh, controller's about to die. I never have time to charge my controller. It's really annoying. Um, Ruda says, by the way, my name is pronounced Ruri. So it's Ru. So what, do I just say Ruri then? Is it not Ruruda? Just Ruri. Matthewson. And I literally did most of the research for this All Blacks team, and every single player that is here has either played for New Zealand in the twenties, New Zealand in the sevens, or. Uh, for the actual New Zealand team, so. Okay, your name's Ruri. Okay, I'll, I'll pronounce it Ruri then. Yo, can we get some convo in the chat, boys? Yeah, come on, everybody, comment. There's seven of you watching right now. Where is everybody? There's five people watching. Oh, well, my thing is telling me seven. Bruce Heem. Ah, oh, step didn't work. Ah, oh, there's nobody out there. What are you doing? Terrible. You might get Rugby 20 on PC. Yeah, because you can mod it on PC. Which All Blacks have you got? Uh, I'll show you now. So this is the All Blacks team. Uh, we've got Char Charlie Falmanina, uh, Haim Fiver, Jeff Tamuga Allen, Stephen Luatua, uh, Michael Fatulofa, uh, Alex Tolu, Liam Messam, uh, Luke Whitelock, Albie Mathewson, Ben Botica, Br Bruce Heem, Julian Sarveya, Willis Halaholo, who played well, who was picked for Wales but never played, uh, Ben Smith, Toby Arnold, Jake Heenan, Ben Franks, Alex Luatua, uh, Wasaki Naholo, John Okito, Ben Smith, Jimmy Gopiff, Gavin Stark. Now, some of these players, like I said, haven't all been picked for New Zealand before. Uh, I think about maybe eight of them have actually played for the full New Zealand team. Uh, and then the rest of them have either played for New Zealand in the sevens or they've played for them in the under 20s level. So at some point they have had international experience, uh, but they haven't all played for the full All Black side. Um, what are everyone's score predictions for Wales versus Scotland match? Uh, I would probably say... I'm going to go Wales, just because obviously it's my home country. Um, and I'm going to say 20 points to 15, something like that. Halaholo plays for the Blues, yes. He was New Zealand born as well, so technically he can play for New Zealand. He hasn't played for Wales yet either, so he's not Welsh. Uh, so, yeah, that's why he's in this New Zealand team. My headset just disconnected, that was really weird. 
Mine is 13-12. For three points. Here we go. Ben Botica. Take the kick. And he's got it. Now I think Wales will pull the finger out and actually play winning rugby. Alright, fair enough. I mean, I think at times against England we did look pretty good. Uh, England were obviously the much better team. But I generally felt like at times we were looking quite good. Ah, oh, it stayed in. Did, he took that out. Surely he took that out. Yes, it's our line out. Here we go. Wide. Come on, New Zealand. Here we go. Julian Surveyor. Willis Halaholo. Ah, oh, not going to get there. Ben Smith out wide. Forward pass. Forward pass. Um, Julie Wallace, yo, what's up, rugby? How's your past week been? Hello, Julie. Oh, you're also called Aaron, not you, so I'll call you Aaron. Uh, it's been all right, yeah. It's been a very busy week. Um, I just haven't really had time to be live streaming. I've done like full days, and it's just been a very draining week, and I've had a lot going on. Um, but yeah, live stream is back. I don't know for how long. PlayStation might sign me out before long, so like I said, if it does cut out, it cuts out, and I apologize. Um, but yeah, it's been. It's been okay week. I can't even remember the last time I live streamed to be honest with you. Um, I think because of the way Scotland played against France, we can win. Yeah, Scotland could win, yeah. There's a high chance they could. But I still don't agree that game should be played. Because it's just like, with all the virus and everything that's been happening in Italy, uh, the Ireland game's cancelled, the England game's cancelled, so why don't you just cancel Wales v Scotland and just have all the games in one weekend? in a few weeks time rather than just having one spaced out all the time it's just a bit of a stupid way to do it we're going to cancel some of them cancel all of them oh Toby Arnold kept it in I've actually been really trying to do something lately as well. I really want to get a Major League Rugby top. And nowhere in the UK sells them. Does anybody know anyone that sells them? Because I've tried level rugby and I've tried uh, the rugby shop as well. And literally no one sells them. Come on. Ben Smith steps him. Ah, oh, he steps right into him. Oh, come on. Hang on, guys. Alright, I am back. Um, and what is everybody saying? Um, yes, in Cardiff there's a rugby store next to Cardiff Castle. Um, right. Does it actually sell the MLR stuff though? Uh, and then we've got, I know I changed it because that used to be my YouTube channel name, but I deleted it. What's up with Rui? What's up, Rui? Used to be called. Okay. Um, Regan says hi. Hello, Regan. I still have the logo. I don't know if there's an online shop though. Yo, Regan. Andrew. Andrew stinks. What the hell? What made you say that? That's not very nice. It's offended me. End of the advantage. Yeah, it's got everything. Oh, right, okay. What's the rugby shop called? Oh, 
Come on, Ben Smith. Right, we need to step him. Get a good side step. Ah! Oh. Ah! Matthewson! It's annoying you can't have like TJ Perinara and stuff in this game, but, you know, we have to make do. I really need them to give me more slots so I can make more teams. Because I want to be able to make Argentina and so on. I want to make a Major League Rugby All-Stars team as well, because obviously we've got America and Canada national team in this game. So I want to do that, but, yeah. Um, who have you got on the All Blacks team? I will show you now. Um, let me show you. We have Charlie Falmanina, uh, Haim Fiver, Jeff Tuma, Tumuga Allen, Stephen Luatua, Michael Fatialofa, Fatialofa uh, Alex Talu, Liam Massam, Luke Whitelock, Albie Mathewson, Ben Bottiger, Bruce, Bruce Heem, Julian Sarveya, Willis Halaholo, Ben Smith, Toby Arnold, Jake Heenan, Ben Franks, Alex Luatua, Wasaki Naholo, uh, John Okito, Ben Smith again, because he's a brilliant player on this game. Jimmy Gopper and Gavin Stark. Now, some of these players, like I said, have played for New Zealand. Others then have played uh, for New Zealand in the sevens, and also other players then have played for New Zealand under 20s. So, that's why. That's literally the best I can do at the moment. Um, no, it's just because you were off stream. That's why you said it. <laughs> okay. Where's Bethan? I forgot. I live only like 10 minutes walk away. I can tell you next stream. Right, okay, next, yeah, next stream that I do. Actually, no, Fred, you follow me on Instagram anyway. So if you can check for me if they sell Major League Rugby tops and just message me on Instagram, that would be brilliant, please. Uh, Shop Rugby is the name. I, I think I contacted them recently, see? Because uh, like they have a few shops around Wales, and they said, no, they don't sell Major League Rugby stuff. Reagan says he doesn't know any of them. You don't know who Ben Smith is? Surely you know who Ben Smith is. And Julian Save, yeah? he's like, they're, they're brilliant players. Edmund says hi, hello Edmund. Uh, Bethan's currently working, that's why she's not in the chat at the moment. Uh, it's Shop Rugby, I remember, yes they do. Yeah, so yeah I'm pretty sure that's the ones I, like, I um, contacted. In which year it was French 14, 1862? Yeah. But yeah, if you check for me anyway, mate, uh, when you're in Cardiff, well, when you're there, then uh, let me know on Insta, please. I follow you on Insta. My name is on it. It's Ruder Hall 13. All right, okay. Thank you for following me, Ruri. Uh, right, so what should we do now? Um, I feel like we should just play some solo games. Like I said, if I if the stream cuts off again, guys, it's because PlayStation has signed me out. Uh, it does it all the time lately. It's a server issue here in the UK, or this side of Wales, anyway. So, like I said, if it happens again, I apologise. Right, let's just play some solo games. Um, I know of um, two Willis Halaholo. All oh, right, okay. Uh, I saw a Seawolves jersey. Oh, right, okay. Well, why did they tell me that they don't have them then? That doesn't make any sense. I asked them if they had Major League Rugby tops, and they said no. Frederick Logan says, hey, hello, Frederick. Um, are you happy Rugby Challenge 4 might come out in June? I mean, yes and no. I mean, I was kind of looking forward to it to coming out this end of this month, so I could really, like, make a load of videos on it for you guys. Um, but with it being postponed until June, we don't, haven't got a release date yet properly, like officially anyway. So it might not even be June, it might be September, it could even be like April, so we don't know. If it is to be June, I mean it's quite annoying because it's such a long way away. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, there's not really anything you can do about it, so. <coughs> oh god. Ah. Uh. Um. God, my eyes are watering from COVID. Budget man says, uh, "Hey, hello, budget man." Uh, stream cut out. Ah, great. That's not a good sign. Um, do you think Scotland can beat Wales? I think they have a good chance. Yeah. Like I said, guys, if the stream cuts out, it's because PlayStation has signed me out. Okay, and the stream will probably finish here because it does it all the time. 
Literally, the servers here in Wales for PlayStation is just shocking. Absolutely shocking. Unless you're playing an online game, it's fine, but when it comes to live streaming, the servers just are terrible. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Why is the other team playing in black as well? How has that worked out? I thought Rugby 20 sorted that out. Now, how am I supposed to know who to pass to? Scotland can beat anyone, by the way, I'm Scottish. Yeah, Scotland can actually beat anyone. It's just they lo lose it by stupid little mistakes. That's the main thing that that's like their problem. They could have easily beaten Ireland if Stuart Hogg had scored that try. And they could have easily beaten England if it wasn't for the bad weather. So, you know, I mean, they're a good side, but it's just little mistakes let them down. Come on, Ben Smith, step him. Oh, God, I can't even tell who's who. It's like impossible to know. Twelve people watching right now. Hello to the twelve people. Come on, we need a good scrum here. Yeah. Thirteen people watching. Excellent body position from the forward to keep their own ball. Come on. Here we go. Um, JC Hunter says, "Hey, hello, JC." Set a smiley face. I thought it was a sick face. Then I was like, "What the hell? Are you ill?" <laughs> um, who else we got commenting? Frederick says, "What do you think?" Is causing Rugby Challenge 4 to be delayed? I don't know. I mean, it might just generally be the game wasn't ever going to be released at the end of March and it was just false rumours. Um, but who knows? Maybe it's to do with licensing. Maybe they're getting some more licences. I don't know. It could literally be anything. Ah, oh, no. We're just giving away a try. Uh. Pro, I am, unfortunately. I'm not that great, too. Hey, missed. Right, let's go over here. Feel like we could get that. Maybe not. I think the main thing is I can't generally. I don't know who are, like who's on my team because it's just so they're all the same kits. I don't understand why the game has done that. It's a bloody kit clash to the highest standard. Uh, come on, here we go. Bruce Heem, step him. Oh yes, here we go. Good old Brucey. Or is it Bryce? I don't know. It's spelled differently, but I don't know. We'll call him Bruce. Um, Scotland Island are the teams which ruin a Grand Slam. <laughs> yeah. Campbell says uh, it's not easily delayed if we never had an official release date. Uh, a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. Exactly. That's what I said. I mean, we didn't actually know like if it was meant to be released at the end of the month. We were only going by what game sites were saying. So that was just a rumour. Uh, so it might never have been delayed in the first place. Obviously, it was meant to be out in December last year. So that was the only delay officially. Um, but, yeah, that's basically all we can really say about it. Um... What else have we got? Frederick says Rugby 20 has odd body pro proportions. I don't know what that means. Oh, as in like how well, how like shaped the people are. I mean, some of them are good and then some of them like that looks nothing like him. So, it's kind of like a, a very, I don't know. It's like everybody's different on this game. Um, Regan says, nice try. Thank you, Regan. Bethan says, I'll be home in 10 minutes, keep live streaming. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's if the stream holds up. You're actually in work at the moment, you shouldn't be commenting. 
Um, have you redesigned Helen's kit yet? Because you liked my comment. Uh, literally, with the making the kits, I'm got. I've literally got so many made. Um, so it's going to take a while. I've so far made a load of videos up until the end of next month, I think. Uh, so and then obviously the newer ones, then I've still got to make. So if I've liked your comment, it means it will get made. Just you're going to have to wait a while for me. That's all. Just because I've got so many people wanting to, me to do their kits. Uh, Michael says hello. Hello, Michael. You haven't been on a stream in ages. Who's the highest rated New Zealand player on this game? On this game, I don't know, but in my team, uh, the highest rated player is Ben Smith, who is 85. Uh, but I've got quite a few New Zealand players. Uh, not all of them have played officially for the All Blacks, but they have played for either the under 20 side or the 7 side. I did a bit of research on the players. Uh, so as you can see here, Michael, you got Charlie uh, Falmonina, I think that's how it's said. Uh, Haim Fiverr, Jeff Tamuga Allen, Stephen Luatua, Michael Fatifloffer, uh, Alex Talou, Liam Massam, Luke Whitelock, Albie Mathewson, uh, Ben Botica, Bruce Heem, Julian Sarvea, Willis Halaholo, Ben Smith, Toby Arnold, Jake Heenan, Ben Franks, Alex Luatua, uh, Wasaki Naholo, uh, John Okito, Ben Smith again, just because he's a brilliant player to have twice in your team, Jimmy Gopiff, and Gavin Stark. So, hopefully not too disappointed, Michael. I mean, like I said, they've all represented New Zealand at some point. Uh, just not all of them for the official All Black side, but they have played for New Zealand, technically, so. Uh, was uh, Fully Welsh says, I need to go for five minutes. See ya. Okay, see you, Fred. Uh, Ruby says, what does the spanner next to Fred's name mean? It means he's a mod, so basically he controls on, like, uh, if anybody swears or there's a, an offensive comment, they get deleted comments do so overall 60s player in New Zealand yeah basically like I said we can't get any of the super rugby players on it so I'm literally trying my best I've still got a few more players I want to get uh, but obviously with the packs issue they give you players at random so I don't get to pick the players so uh, yeah Charlie Farmanina is your highest rated player he's night and bench oh yeah okay yeah never mind <laughs> Basically, with the New Zealand team, I've still got the three. These are the best players that I've got, and I'm yet to get. Okay, uh, so I got Charlie Piertau, which is from Bristol. I haven't got him yet. Uh, Jordan Tofua from Leicester. I haven't got him yet. Malaki Fekatoa, John Okito. I have got now. Uh, Milner Scudder from Toulon. Uh, Jerome Kaino from Toulouse. Uh, Peter Aki from Toulouse. Victor Vito from Rochelle. Sam Vacker from Argon. I will, literally, guys, I spent ages saving up uh, to get the Montpellier pack because I was under the impression Aaron Cruden was still playing for them. And uh, boy, was I wrong. I, I ended up buying four packs of Montpellier thinking Aaron Cruden was still there. And literally, then I found out then and I was like, great. So I've just wasted all that money for no reason whatsoever. Uh, he's back. Fred's back. Uh, ah, the Pier Tower Bros are sick. And then I've still got the Australia team as well I'm trying to make. Um, I've, I, I've made it, but I'm, there's also a few more players I'm trying to get. Australia are the more difficult team to make on this game, because obviously there's not a lot of Australian players that play uh, in Europe. They mo mainly play in Super Rugby or in the Japanese League. Ah, oh, routine. Ah. Oh. Matthewson. So, Michael, what do you think of that All Blacks team? Is it is it okay or is it not very good? Because you're like our main New Zealand follower, so you know you're the one that always comments on the videos that's from New Zealand. Um, Fred says, "Ruri, Ruri, I'm a mod because I'm always on the stream and I sometimes donate." Yes, yes, you are, Fred. You still owe me 500k there, Fred. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> uh, until 88.88, how many points were awarded for a try? I'm pretty sure it was four. Oh, okay, never mind. If you are just tuning in, feel free to leave a comment. Ask a question. Uh... Fred says I'm Andrew's best and only friend. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Ruri says, I do try to watch every live stream I can. Uh, that's brilliant, Ruri. Thank you. Michael says, there's definitely some good players in there, but the overall ratings of the players are horrific. Yes, they are. I know. I mean, Bruce Heem, I'm pretty sure he should be rated higher than what he is. He's like 50-something, isn't he? Uh, yeah, 58. I mean, his speed is 97, so how... I don't know. Like, some ratings are really good, don't get me wrong, but then there's also other ratings. I'm like, what the hell is that? You know, so... Ring says, can you do a Scarlet match, please? I can, yeah. Um, yeah, so like, like I said, I think Julian Surveyor should be rated higher as well than 71 because he's a, an experienced all-black player. Uh, ben Smith, I'm happy with. Toby Arnold, I'm happy with. Willis Halaholo was picked for Wales but never played. So like I said, that's why he's in the New Zealand team. Um, yo, Andrew James is never active. Is he not? He shouldn't be a mod. <laughs> right, okay. Well, at the time, he was made a mod, so maybe I'll end up taking him off. I know that guy that kept commenting as well, that uh, kept saying weird things like, hey, sexy, and all like that. I uh, blocked him from the channel, from like, commenting anyway. He might be watching right now, but he's not allowed to comment because of that. Uh, you want to see a Scarlet game? Right, okay, I'll get off solo mode. Um, right, Scarlet. Should we do like Australia versus. We'll do South Africa versus the Scarlet, shall we? I think that would be pretty awesome. I'm gonna play out South Africa, obviously, though. Um. I personally think Regan should be a mod. He's always here. It's up to him if he wants to be a mod or not. Michael, do you want to be a mod? Controlling the comments and stuff? Because you've been around since like the start of the channel. So if you want to be a mod, you can. So literally, if anybody swears or anything, you, you have the power to delete them, Michael. Would you want to do that? Regan says, what's a mod? A mod basically deletes comments and controls uh, like what people say and stuff. So the South African team is pretty good. Um, we have Victor Koch, uh, Co is it Koch? I'm guessing that's how it said. Uh, Michael Willems, Ox Niche, uh, Gibrant Go Grobler, Ivan Etzebeuf, Jackers Vermeulen, Reinhard El Elstadt, uh, Marcel Coetzee, Faf de Klerk, Andre Pollard, Duan van der Moer, uh, Robert Eberson, Lionel Mopo, Cheslin Colby, Jacko van der Walt, uh, and then we got Kony Oosterhuizen. Uh, Michael Rhodes, Jacques Vermeulen, Jean-Luc Dupriez, uh, Francois Ugard, Henri Imelam, uh, Kobus Reinach, and Francois Stein. And then obviously we've got the reserves then. Um, Andrew, I think only me and Beth should be mods. Uh, Ruby says I would want to be a mod. Uh, Regan Phillips says okay. I don't think Michael's even watching now. Maybe Well, what, it's like half eight in the morning in New Zealand at the moment, so... Okay, I have to do a stream tomorrow, and if he's online, he can. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, I've got, like... I'm not really doing anything tomorrow, but I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow night, so I'll have to see. Yako Creel. Should we bring him up, put him on the bench? Yeah, put him there. Um, JC Hunter says, can you have more than one mod at a time? You can. Uh, Michael says, it would be nice, but I don't tune in enough to your live streams as we live in opposite time zones. I'm on my morning lunch break and should probably get back to work. Thanks for the offer though, mate. No problem, Michael. Hopefully the live stream didn't disappoint you too much. Like I said, I tried my best to make a New Zealand team. Literally, I want them to give me more slots. I want to make an Argentinian team, Spain if I can. Uh, Fiji as well. There's loads of teams I want to keep making. So literally, if the developers are watching, please, everybody wants to see all these teams in the game. So please let me have more slots so I can make them. At least then you don't have to have the licenses. Um, probably Brian Lima, yeah. Also, guys, if you're feeling generous, please feel free to leave a donation by clicking the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat. 
Uh, that way then it just shows your support to the channel and all the effort that goes into making these teams. Literally the amount of hours I spend making these teams, I've spent at least probably over 100 hours making the England, South Africa, uh, Australia and New Zealand team alone. Uh, so like I said, if you are feeling generous, feel free to leave a donation. Fiji would be good, they all play in France, exactly, and it's, it's the same as there's quite a few Spanish players in this game as well, so I can make Spain. Like, how awesome would it be to have Spain in this game to play as? You should be able to name your squad. Yeah, I think they're going to let us do that eventually. They did say they're going to look into doing that. Come on, South Africa. I played a match with Rugby Guru last night. Oh, oh cool, Reagan. How'd it go? Uh, all the Argentinians play for Jaguars. Not all of them. Some of them are playing in Europe. Uh, and there were, actually, there's a lot of Argentinians playing in Europe. And I have represented Argentina in the past. I know the current Argentinian side play for the Jaguars. And they play for, is it Penarol? I think it is. Uh, which is, I think, it's, is it Penarol? Which is an Argentinian side, professional side uh, in the SLAR. Which, if you guys haven't seen the SLAR, SLAR yet, uh, make sure you go check out their YouTube channel. It's actually really cool. They show you the highlights of the uh, professional South American League. It is actually really interesting to watch. Gary says, what did you think of the game on Saturday? I think it was okay. I think the second half we looked a lot better. Uh, it was a shame that it was literally little, too little too late. If it had been like an extra two minutes... I reckon we probably would have won that game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, England were most of the game the better team anyway. We didn't play well enough. Uh, Andrew, how close are you to getting a cheer? Uh, I have, I've had no donations yet, so I can't get a cheer. <laughs> Van der Moer. Here we go. Step him. Oh, yes. Here we go. What a try, South Africa. Um, do you have Scott Fardy in the All Blacks team? No, I don't. Uh, there's quite a few Fijians in Glasgow Warriors. Yeah, there's a load of Fijians in France as well. Bethan says she's back. Hello, Bethan. Hopefully work wasn't too bad. Van der Moer is from Canada. Yeah, no, not DTH Van der Moer. It's, it's a different Van der Moer. There's more than one Van der Moer. Here we go. Cheslin Colby. Ah, oh, damn it. Should have just ran rather than stepping with him. Faf to clear. Bloody hell, he's tiny compared to everybody else. Go Faf. Ah, oh, Vermillion. For the line. What a try. Hey, Fred and Michael, you're back. Yeah, Michael's just tuned out, Bethan, because uh, he's currently on his morning lunch break in work. So he's gone. Because obviously he lives in New Zealand, so he's 12 hours ahead of us. So it's half a state in the morning over there. But let's try and get Cheslin Colby to run in for the gap, shall we? I feel like that would be a good idea. Ah, we've given it to Scarlet. No, we haven't. Okay. Right, let's try and get into the centre. Let's draw loads of Scarlet players in. Right. Ah, oh, we've lost it. Ah, oh, no. Somebody tackle him. What's Bethan say? Um... Reagan says, do you fancy playing a match with me on Friday? Uh, maybe Reagan, I'll have to see what I'm doing. Actually, no, I can't. I'm on a late shift Friday, sorry. Um, Beth says, okay, yeah, Fred, quiet mind as the virus. I think people don't want to come out. Yeah. Has anybody been affected by the virus at all? Everybody, everybody in the comments. I know, obviously, your country where you're from probably has been affected, but, like, in general... Anybody nearby you that's been affected? I mean, with me and Beth on live, uh, the, what the county that we're in, there's two people got it. Oh, 
so it's not horrific at the moment but I think um, I'd imagine in time it might get a bit worse Rugby 20 has dropped by two pounds today sales not good well not necessarily they might just like not have anybody buying it now because everybody's bought it I don't know I don't really deal with that side of stuff I have no idea but then there's always a sale on everything. Ah, oh, what was that? That should be a red. Um, Fred said she's great. It's her birthday in two days. Oh, two, it was her birthday two days ago. Let me just reply to a message, guys. Be with me. Um, right. Yeah, so, was it a good birthday then, Fred, or what did you gather? Uh, in my school, there was a trip to Edinburgh and someone got it. Oh, great, okay. you have to watch yourself then, Ruri. Um, I, hang on. Yeah, I got her a necklace and two tickets to certain uh, Wales versus Scotland game this weekend. So, are you kind of like, obviously you're excited for it, but then are you also, on the other hand, like, oh, God, this virus, should I really be going to the stadium? I think that's what I would be like. Uh, Dylan says, my school is meant to be going to Paris next Monday. Oh, right. Jesus. I would not be going to that. So many offices by me are on lockdown. Oh, right. Okay. So everybody literally in the comments is like, there's people got the virus more than it has where I am. Come on, Cheslin. Ah, no, Cheslin, what are you doing? Don't try and start a mall. Have you seen the size of you? Oh, what a pass by Cheson Colby. Set up nearly a try. No. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, try. 